seconds. Just measure how much you're going to get in a 30 seconds time. So we decrease our flow twice and we're having somewhere around uh, 6 or 7 mils per 30 seconds. That would be equal somewhere around uh, 720, 25 uh, milliliters of spirit per hour. And we have to keep this flow up to the end. So the closer we get into the end, uh, the more often we have to shift our spirit into the bigger vessel and uh, smell and taste probably sometime what kind of spirit we have coming out. So we just about to finish uh, this particular spirit that we can see is not going to be used for consumption because uh, this spirit uh, very rich with uh, butyl alcohol uh, to identify it you just have to wrap it into your palms and smell it and uh, it will give you very strong smell of very bad uh, and cheap beer that you could have tasted once in your life uh, to have some uh, close idea some some idea about how it smells like uh, you will get this idea once you finish your distillation and uh, you can open up your steel and very carefully smell the vapors that coming out it will smell very awful and so you will be just amazed how it was possible for whatever guys who just drink this homebrew stuff uh, to drink this stuff before without being uh, fractionally separated so uh, as I mentioned before we're gonna get in reality about 20% less of spirit that we uh, were counting for so in this case uh, I just made all the notes about every batch of spirit I took so I started from 400 mils, then 500 mils, 300 mils, 400 mils, and so on. And finally, we've got 2.2 liters of spirit. But our calculations were showing us uh, 2 and uh, 934 milliliters of ethanol. So, if you will reduce it by 20%, that will give you approximately the figure that we've got 2.2 liters 2.3 liters uh, so it doesn't mean that we lost some spirit the uh, botanol indicators that there is no more ethanol left in our uh, distiller so that's mean we didn't lose our spirit we just don't have the spirit any longer uh, what we have uh, this is almost 3 liters of very very good spirit I don't know if it's how it's seen so it's just 96 percent spirit very good one that will be diluted and give us more than five liters of 40 percent vodka uh, or whatever stuff you can use it for different kind of drinks production of course for your own needs because it's illegal to sell it without license uh, you can make very fine bourbons with whatever wooden chips or chops you can make uh, liqueurs and other stuff so this spirit is very very good if you want to make vodka and, and if you want uh, to make the quality of this vodka is just super pooper uh, all you need to do just to run it once through the filter but uh, before running it through the filter you have to dilute it with water uh, I will supply all details, uh, detailed formulas and everything about dilution and uh, calculation of spirit like we did over here uh, step by step uh, explanation how to make spirit um, so it will be much easier this home video 
not probably that perfect, but it will give you some idea how to operate this machine. So we just about to finish, and uh, all I need to do just switch off the electricity. Open up the tap on top of the coal. It will reduce all the spirit out of coal, and coal is going to be empty. This particular spirit uh, is not really drinkable. I wouldn't recommend to drink it to anyone. Just don't be greedy, you know, because you want to get more spirit doesn't mean you want to poison yourself. This particular one could be used along with methanol that I am collecting in this kind of vessel. Just X juice bottle, I just write down meth on it and I use this particular stuff for my lawn mower. My lawn mower didn't see any petrol for two and a half years for now. So now we finish our distillation. We can leave our steel to cool down or we just can uh, empty it very easy. All we need to do is just get this plastic hose on and open it up. I would recommend to increase water flow because orders gonna be very awful so the stuff reduced from the column is gonna be mixed with cold water that will prevent the steaming so just it's a very simple kitchen environment you know along with dishes and everything you can perform very good distillation so this is pretty it once you emptied your vessel, just detach the column and store it in a place whenever you would like to in your garage or hotel. Thank you, happy brewing!